Access provided by PlayStation. All right, this is the Burning Shores expansion for Horizon Forbidden West, which adds in a lot of new endgame content and deeper combat mechanics. One of which is this powerful new weapon type and its upgraded version, which completely changes the game. I'm Alex, and this is a quick guide for snagging and using the Spectre Gauntlet and its railgun upgrade. And hey, if you happen to be new here, hit subscribe. So the first form of this weapon you can't miss, and you unlock it during the third mainline Burning Shores quest called The Stars in Their Eyes. Towards the end of that quest, you'll negotiate with a mini-boss, and he'll joyfully gift this new gun to you. Which Aloy immediately Aloys into this, I guess. The default shard barrage shot for the Spectre Gauntlet fires multiple quick projectiles which detonate in a blast of 60 tear damage, 40 explosive. This thing is pretty great at ripping and tearing things off of dinos, with its pelting of little AoE explosions. Its alternate fire, which doesn't consume a lot of stamina, plants a target designator, which adds some auto tracking to your shots. If you hold down fire and expend the entire magazine or whatever this uses, it'll have an extra long time till it reloads. If you stop shooting right on that last shard though, it'll refill faster and allow you to fire it more frequently. Also, it can hit much more accurately if you just tap quick shots with it, as opposed to auto firing which spreads out everywhere the longer you hold it. If you're using the target designator though, that's not going to be as big of a deal. Now to unlock the Spectre Gauntlet's upgraded mode, the Railgun, make sure you don't miss the side quest in his wake. Right after that main story mission where you got the gauntlet, you can head up to this spot towards the north to start this side quest. Fast forward towards the end of this quest and you'll find another gun wielding mini boss. After you give him a nap, loot his corpse for the Railgun component. Head back to a workbench and use it to upgrade that gauntlet. With that, Aloy now officially joins the Arm Cannon Squad, alongside Samus, Mega Man, Barret, and everyone's absolute favorite, Me Gunner. The railgun ammo for the gauntlet charges up to fire a precise shot of an impressive 250 impact 500 tear damage. Its alternate fire marks the target like a resonator blast spot, which will cause the railgun to inflict even more damage if you hit it. This can easily take down just about anything if you combine those effects with other damage modifiers, like some of the new Valor Surges or extra resonator blast spots, which are easier to inflict now with a new knockdown attack. Also, if you plan on using this weapon a lot, I recommend unlocking the new glide targeting skill at the bottom of the hunter skill tree. That allows you to glide and fire the gauntlet at the same time. Ammo is pretty easy to make for this thing luckily, since it kind of chews through it, only requiring a few metal shards and two easily obtainable sparker materials. I had hundreds of those when I started the expansion, now I have less. So that's how you get the most out of the new weapon type, but there's also new legendaries for all of the existing weapon types as well. To unlock most all of those new weapons, armors, or coils, you're going to need a lot of the Brimshine resource. Those are hidden all over the map in Burning Shores, but there's an easy way to pinpoint where some of these are at. Pick any of the new weapons or armors that use Brimshine to upgrade them, and set gathering resources for it as a quest. That will highlight the things you need, and if you don't have enough Brimshine, that will lead you right to some of it nearby. That lets you unlock some of that new expansion gear a bit faster. Although Burning Shores is only available on PlayStation 5, let me know if you've gotten a chance to get your hands on it. It's all endgame content, so you do need to have finished the main campaign before you head to the new region. It's a solid continuation of the game though, with some difficult new creatures, but luckily all kinds of new combat abilities to test out on that. As always, I'm Alex, and thanks for checking this out. Have fun with that arm cannon.